Okay, so let's let's jump into it. So the first one that I'm going to talk about today um, is that Catholic Ed. So I'm going to say Catholic Ed sharpens uh, CBE. And thank you, everyone who is joining us live today. I really appreciate it. I'm going to put this in the uh, sharpens CBE. Boom. I want to thank everyone who is joining us live today. Um, I can see a few already uh, who have joined. Uh, this is a session about defending Catholic education. Uh, and as part of my campaign, I'm going to run a different live stream every single week just about different aspects of Catholic education. And so that's what this one uh, is. So the first one is how does Catholic education sharpen the public board? How, how does it benefit the public students? So one um, complaint about Catholic education in Calgary has been that we're like a slow version of the Calgary Board of Education, the public board. That is, we make the same decisions only weeks later. So here's just three examples from the news. Number one, CBE renames Langevin School uh, on June 1st, 2021. And then CSSD renames Bishop Grandham High School on June the 28th. So that's 27 days later. So very close to a month. CBE chooses to not pilot the curriculum April 10th, 2021. And then the Calgary Catholic Board decides to not pilot the curriculum April 29th. So that's 19 uh, days later, three weeks later. Right? So you see this. This is all in the news. This is what people are. I'm focused on the news because that's public perception. Um, CBE refunds bus fees March 17th, 2021. CSSD changes their bus policy March 24th, 2021. So they're like a um, little bit more than a week, two weeks later. So here's the thing. It is hard to justify the need for Catholic education if it makes the same decisions as CBE, just only slower. So how? How do we turn this around as a benefit for everyone? Um, before I begin, uh, can I ask if it's okay that I'm going to be completely honest with you? Uh, I have a confession. I have a confession to make. I was born and raised in the uh, Calgary uh, public education system, the, the CBE. Uh, and so I understood the importance of virtue in our world of tech and science. And for that reason, uh, my children are growing up in the Calgary Catholic system. So as a result, I speak to Calgarians who are not in the Catholic system. And my response to them is generally, great. I also grew up uh, in CBE schools or the Calgary Board schools. And I directly benefited from Catholic education during my time in that school. Uh, and that, that's my typical response. So how can that be the case? Well, let me, let me explain. So as your Catholic trustee, I'd position Catholic education as the sword that sharpens CBE. You know, there are times when CBE leads and there are times when Calgary Catholic leads. And it is this interplay between the two in the media that sparks parents. It holds their trustees accountable. And it delivers a shining education for all. I, I'll just give you like four examples. Four examples of this. First, Calgary Catholic decided that they would only offer online learning as a dedicated school through St. Isidore Online School. Instead of using like the, the hybrid hub learning, uh, say from CBE, and this school year, guess what? <laughs> On March the 18th, 2021, CBE also decided to discontinue their hub learning to only offer CBE Learn as a dedicated school. So every public school student benefits when more resources can be put into a dedicated 
online learning option. That one making sense? Okay. Second, when Calgary Catholic leads in an area, that puts pressure on CBE trustees. For example, the St. Isidore Online School has a full French immersion program that makes it possible to learn in French even if there isn't a school near your home. Now, right now, the CBE Learn School doesn't offer a French immersion program. Uh, Calgary Catholic is really applying pressure uh, on CBE through the media and ultimately, like through the media, to parents and ultimately to CBE trustees to change this, which is great. Like this is, this is new pressure that benefits all students. The third is that Calgary Catholic supports education for neighboring cities like Airdrie and Chestermere and, of course, the beautiful town of Cochrane, which I'm running for. Again, this is an opportunity to put pressure on the CBE to also provide support for those t uh, towns and communities, just like uh, the Calgary Catholic um, schools do. Now, finally, on August the 30th, Calgary Catholic announced that they would continue informing families about COVID cases while the CBE, the Calgary Board of Education, will not. So this shows that contact tracing can be done at scale. So it puts more pressure on CBE to advance the health measures that are available to parents. So I hope that makes uh, sense. Those are four different examples. In each one of those, sometimes Calgary Catholic leads, sometimes CBE leads. But the fact that you have two of them that are constantly one-upping each other, constantly making decisions that appear in the media that puts pressure. That puts pressure on both to be more accountable. It provides better options for students because they, they go, yeah, they can do it. How come you guys can't do it? This is wonderful. This is good for our children because it gives them way more options. There's another aspect to this, this sharpening um, of the sword like, that I was talking about. And that is that in March of this year, all you have to do is look at Manitoba the province of Manitoba. They witnessed parent voices taken away when changes in the Provincial Education Act resulted in appointed instead of elected school board trustees. That is, you don't get a vote anymore as a parent in Manitoba. So this silencing of the parent voice is an unfortunate risk of a super board approach to education. Having a multiple boards of trustees, it gives multiple approaches to working with governments uh, to ensure that parents can choose, of course, the learning environment that is going to work best for them, but also that the boards themselves can choose the way that they approach their province for getting the kind of support that they need that's going to be best, most helpful for, for, uh, for their children. And so that, to me, is a, a really important c component understanding why it is that it is important to have many different voices. You know, one of the things that we, and I will, this is only scratching the surface of parent voice because like parent voice itself is like, a, it, like I could do like an hour on that easily. But one of the key things is that during the pandemic time, many school councils went from having a fully functional uh, school council to being advisory only, advisory to the principal only, because there just wasn't enough volunteers. And this um, parent voice is very, very important, especially if we want to have the best options uh, for our kids. And so I do feel that more parent voices, like more boards, more different options, like more voting, actually results in more parent voice. You have more say, because there are more options for parents, and that is important. And, and options, uh, this parent voice and choice is a key aspect of my campaign, and it's a key aspect of just the principle of education in general. And so those are some examples. So I showed uh, four examples, and I also showed that last one, 
just about what happens. What happens when it all gets combined? You don't have that sharpening, but also your voice is greatly diminished. And I think this is a, a growing concern for a lot of parents. It's like, what's going to happen to to our voices if everything gets combined? Maybe the politics change and, and all of a sudden we don't agree with what the province is doing in terms of education. Well, who's going to defend you against that? If you only have one voice, it's very easy to shut that down. But if you have many voices, many different districts, you can resist. You have power. You have more voice. This matters because education needs to have parent voice. We know from m- numerous studies that the, the more parent involvement you have, the better quality the education is for kids. This is, this is well known in the OECD PISA information.